Out of all the tools I tried for organizing my ideas and creative projects, Milanote is by far the best. I started using it around three years ago, and since then it became my go-to application for creating mood boards, planning projects, brainstorming ideas, collaborating with my team, and even reviewing our pro member students' creative assignments. Join me and find out why most creative professionals love Milanote and cannot imagine doing their job without it. Here we are in the desktop version of Milanote, which is available for both Mac and PC. But you don't actually need to download the desktop version because you can also use it in the browser. And that is one of the biggest advantages of Milanote for organizing your assets and inspiration. The fact that with your license, you get unlimited cloud storage and you can access your boards from anywhere. Nothing is stored locally, which means that even if you are adding large files like this PSD, which is around 150 megabytes, it's going to take some time, but upload it and it will be stored in my account online. Since this is a publicly shared board, I'm going to delete this before it uploads it. But one other aspect and huge advantage of doing everything completely online is that you can also collaborate with other creators. So you can invite them as editors to your boards. And once they are in, you will be able to work live simultaneously within the same board. So just to demonstrate this to you in a browser window, I'm going to start adding a note and immediately you can see it here in the desktop version as well. It even shows my name so I know who is making the edits. What helps with collaboration is that you can also easily add comments and just like everything, you have this simple drag and drop toolbar on the left. So if I want to add the comment, I can just drag it in here and I can write whatever I want. Once I add that, it will register when it was added and others will be able to reply to this. Besides commenting, what you can also do is to add emojis and you can see on this publicly shared board and it gives you a good little statistic of what people thought of them. And when I hover over the emojis, I can even see who the users were who reacted with them. Another tool that's great for collaboration is the draw feature with which you can easily mark up anything on the board. So I can draw arrows, for instance, or highlight details that are important. And the best thing is that you can always move these around or delete them if you don't need them anymore. Another cool feature for creatives is that you can even create a sketch item within which you can just double click and start drawing and you can easily change the thickness of your lines and of course also the color. Currently within a sketch item like this, that can only be a single editor working, so you can't draw together simultaneously. However, that might be a feature that they introduce later on. Once you save a sketch, you can always increase or decrease the size of it, move it around, and by double clicking, you can go back and continue making changes. Besides collaborating with other editors, you can also publicly share boards and you can create this link, which can be used anywhere. And whoever gets that link will be able to view all the assets that you put on the board. And if they want to comment or add emojis, they will have to create an account for themselves. Now it is important to mention that it is free to get started with Milanote, but there is a limitation. You can only add up to a hundred things and once you reach that limit, if you wish to add more stuff, then you have to have a monthly or an annual payment plan with Milanote. And since we are talking about public links, it's also really cool that we can see statistics of how many people viewed this link. And of course, any changes made to this board will immediately be reflected and visible through that public link. So it's always going to be synced to whatever is happening in here. Now, one of the best things about Milanote is that it has infinite canvas for all of the boards that you create, which means that you can keep adding stuff and you will never hit boundaries. So just to demonstrate that to you, I'm going to press Z on the keyboard to zoom out. And this is what I call the instant bird's eye view, which gives us an overview of everything on this board. And you can see I have a lot of GIF files as well, which keep animating even from this zoomed out view. But there are loads of things here and I can easily just click anywhere on the board to zoom back in. And then I can again take a closer look at all of these references. 
Since I started using Melanote a couple of years ago, I ended up using it for pretty much everything, even for planning new courses or managing all the submitted work from our pro member students. So as an example, here is one of the most recent live streams where we went through all of this work that they submitted for the projects. And by the way, if you want to learn graphic design or illustration and get mentoring directly from me, then you should definitely check out this unique learning program. You can find out more about it by clicking on the card on the top right or the link in the description below. For a small monthly fee, you get access to over 200 hours of Adobe certified online training courses. Master all the tools and skills needed to become a professional graphic designer or illustrator. As a pro member, you will get mentoring from me and my team, access to webinars, student forum, and creative briefs to help you build an outstanding portfolio. Pro members can also download the project files for all of our YouTube tutorials. Sign up at yesimadesigner.com slash memberships and start your free trial today. And now let's head back to the tutorial. While you organize things into folders on your computer, Milanote is mainly relying on boards. And you can have boards within boards, so you can create this multi-level structure easily. Like in this case, we are already inside the board, but I can just quickly add a new one. And if I double click in here, I can also choose templates from the right which can be a great way to get inspired and see what you can use Milanote for. So for instance, if we choose design brief, it will generate this template for me. And if I just click on use this template, it will keep all the elements, but without the actual content. So it removed the images and the text. But if I delete everything and again, choose design brief, I can even choose to keep the example content. And once I click use this template, everything will be kept there. Now, of course, you can easily replace anything. You can just drag and drop images onto existing images to replace them. And there's even cards for swatches, which you can also easily edit. So if I just change this to something else, immediately the color updates and even a name is generated automatically in the caption. I also love the fact that you can immediately add captions to anything. So all you have to do is to just select an image, for instance, and start typing. And even captions can be formatted. So if I want this to be centered, I uh, want it to be bold or maybe even highlighted in a certain color, I can easily set that up. There is also a quick and handy way of switching between light and dark modes. That's command or control shift D. So we can switch to dark or back to light interface. And when it comes to adding notes, there's just so much cool things you can do. Let me just show you a couple of things. So you might want to add a note like this objective note here, which you also need to show maybe in another board or in another part of the same board. So if I want to duplicate this, I can just hold down Alt or Option key and there is the duplicate. And immediately Milanote is telling me that I can keep this in sync to the original. If I say yes, now these two nodes became linked to each other. So if I change anything here, for instance, I just start typing objectives for this project. You can see immediately it's showing up on the other instance as well. And you don't even have to find the original instance because whichever version you edit will affect all the other ones as well. Another cool feature is that if you have a larger amount of text like this one, you can convert it to a document, which will make editing much easier. So if I jump in here, you can see it turns into something more like Word and you can comfortably type, format or read larger amounts of text. One other advantage of creating these documents is that you can individually export them with any of these formats here, like PDF or Word document. But of course, entire Miller notebooks can also be exported again into various formats. You can even turn them into a massive single PNG image, which for some larger boards could easily end up being a huge file. Here is another board where I plan all the YouTube thumbnails that we use on our channel. And I'm just gonna show you another cool feature with which you can really neatly organize all the elements on your boards. So I can select maybe these four images here and I can distribute them horizontally, but I can also align them to their top edges, just like you would do in Adobe applications. There's even an option to quickly connect selected items and those little lines will always update wherever you move the items. 
This is great, for instance, if you use boards for mind mapping or project management. Another cool thing that's unique to Milanote is that you can even overlap things on top of each other. And just like, again, as in Adobe applications, you can decide to send an item to the back or again, bring it to the front. There are no layers currently in Milanote, but that might be, again, another feature they will introduce in the future. I wouldn't be surprised because they really know how to please creatives. Notice that there is also a little icon here on the top called Quick Notes, and that is because there's even a mobile version of Milanote. So there is an app that you can download, and on the app, you will get a slightly different view. So instead of having this infinite canvas, you would have a single scrolling column. So everything that's placed on boards, you will see in that column. And you can even use that app to add additional things like links or images or copy. And all of that will show up here on the desktop like this, where I can decide where I want to place these within my board. Now, the app version of Milanote currently is only optimized for phones, but I know that they are planning to bring out a tablet version as well, where I'm expecting it to be a little bit more intuitive, especially with the drawing option, it would be great to use an Apple Pencil. So hopefully we will get an iPad version of Milanote as well in the future. So to summarize, Milanote is an amazing tool and I can't really imagine working without it anymore. I use it for so many different things. It's not just a place for collecting my inspirations. It's also a place where I plan and collaborate with all of my team members. I highly recommend for you to check out Milanote and you will quickly see how intuitive and addictive it can be. Thanks a lot for watching. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we release new videos. Click on the link on my right and start your membership today to get access to over 200 hours of training courses and personal mentoring by me and my team of creative professionals. Have fun learning guys and I will see you in the next one.